This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at how to use high dynamic range media in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to create custom LUTs for Premiere using Photoshop. One of the things that we often want to do is we want to apply a LUT, but we want to apply a LUT that has a particular look. One of the things that is really cool with the combination of Premiere and Photoshop is that we can create our own LUT to make our image look better. Let me show you how that works. Let's just take a piece of sample footage here. We'll make it look like this. Shift E so I can save a still. Um, sample for LUT. We'll save it to the desktop. And now we'll hide Premiere and we'll switch over to Photoshop. And here's our sample on the desktop. We'll just drag it into Photoshop. And yep, I think that's definitely <laughs> washed out. First thing we want to do is to convert this layer into a background. To do that, select the layer, go up to the Layer menu, and select New, Background from Layer. This turns it into a background. Then we don't adjust the image. We create adjustment layers. And to do that, we'll click this icon here. And the first thing we'll do is adjust the levels. Open the levels panel up, and we'll pull our black levels up a bit to give some richness to the picture. Pull our white levels down to make it pop right around in there. And then we'll adjust our midtones until we're happy with the look. Probably something like this, and it's totally what looks good to your eye. I really want to pull out the detail in the surf, so we'll set it to something like that. Next, let's make an adjustment for color. So we'll add another adjustment layer, and this time we'll say, oh, color balance. And to the midtones, let's add a little bit of blue, make the water look bluer. Okay, I think that looks good. And we'll take some of the blue out of the shadows, pull it back like that, and we can tweak until we are absolutely happy with all this, but that I think is good enough for right now. We've added two adjustment layers, one for levels and one for color balance. You can add as many adjustment layers as you want, but they have to be adjustment layers. We're not changing the background picture at all. Notice it's set as background and an adjustment layers. Go up to the File menu and go to Export and select Color Lookup Tables. Inside Color Lookup Tables, we have a choice of different formats, and we want to select Cube because DaVinci Resolve and Premiere and Final Cut all accept the Cube format. We're going to call this Larry's LUT, Larry's LUT, and click OK. This gives us a chance to decide where we're going to save it. To make this easy, I'll save it to the desktop. And we'll say Larry's LUT, if I can spell Larry's correctly, L-U-T, and I don't need the extension because it's going to add a cube extension for me, and click Save. After just a few seconds, the LUT shows up on the desktop. Now, let's go back to Premiere. Notice that the LUT option is grayed out. And this is because we told the Lumetri color panel that we're using HDR media. So let's switch back to Rec. 709 by turning this option off. Now we can add a LUT. And we'll browse, desktop, Larry's LUT, open, and look at that. I exported a still frame from Premiere. I opened it up inside Photoshop. I used the layer menu and said layer, background from layer, and then I applied adjustment layers to add levels or color correction to create the look that I wanted. I then saved that as a color lookup table from Photoshop, imported that using the basic correction LUT inside Premiere, and created the look that I wanted. Now I can still do color grading. I can have all these controls to adjust as you see fit. So the purpose of a LUT is not necessarily to make it perfect. The purpose of a LUT is to get you close so that you can tweak it to get you exactly the look that you want. Keep in mind, you can use LUTs on Rec. 709 projects. You cannot use LUTs on HDR projects. 
This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at how to use high dynamic range media in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my website at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 274. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours, on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.